Now, coming up to Ukraine's new democracy, um, I observed over the last half a year, three quarters of a year, that is uh, back in April and May um, of, of this year, um, some difficulties that a new democracy goes through. And I observed um, that there were, there were actions taken by several parts of the government. Um, on the presidential side, on the prime minister side, on the RADA side, uh, on the courts, several actions by these various parts of the government that, in my view, tarnished the respect for the rule of law um, in Ukraine. Um, there was pressure put on the courts from all sides. Uh, there were political pressures put on what should be independent organizations, or at least non-political organizations, like the general prosecutor, um, like the Constitutional Court, uh, like the National Security and Defense Council. Um, that these should be non-political organs um, that help the young democracy move forward. Um, and so I have suggested that there was some repair work to be done um, to the respect for the rule of law here in Ukraine. Again, uh, young democracies go through this, this, these kinds of challenges, and Ukraine is going through it. Ukraine had a very good election, as I mentioned, in, uh, in, on September 30th. Um, all of the political parties who are now in the new RADA have committed um, to taking their seats in the new RADA. Now that wasn't the case in the old RADA. As you know, there were the, some political parties did not take their seats um, in the old RADA. So I think this also is a, uh, um, is a benefit and is, and is a, a sign of progress. I mentioned earlier that the, that the new democracy under a new government um, has some decisions that I think uh, need to be made. Um, one of the first decisions uh, that the new parliament, the Verhoeven Rada, is going to have to make is the final decision on joining the World Trade Organization. The, all the parties um, in the last Rada, oh, that's not true, the main parties in the last Rada supported um, the steps necessary, legislation necessary to join the World Trade Organization. And I hope um, that the new RADA will take the final steps and uh, pass the final law that is necessary to join the World Trade Organization. That, I think, will improve the economy. I think that will indicate to the world that Ukraine uh, is ready to join a rules-based trade regime, which I think is very good um, for Ukraine. I think it will be good for this region. And even more importantly, I believe, um, is what will follow from Ukraine joining the World Trade Organization, and that is serious negotiations on a Ukraine-European Union free trade agreement. These two steps, WTO and the free trade agreement um, with the European Union, I believe, will be will demonstrate to Ukrainians and the world that Ukraine is ready to move, continue to move, and take serious steps toward moving to Europe. Um, we again, the record and I were talking about uh, about your students. Um, we're talking about uh, the faculties um, in your university. We we're talking about attitudes toward going toward Europe, um, and my sense in talking with a lot of Ukrainians around this country, east and west, um, and in the south, is that there are, that there's a general consensus um, that Ukrainians feel uh, about moving toward and into Europe. And Ukraine is a European country, um, and there are political institutions, and there are security institutions, um, there are political values, democratic values, that I believe, um, and what I hear Ukrainians telling me, um, suggests that Ukraine ought to continue its move uh, towards Europe. 
This is one of the questions that I'm looking forward to your comments on um, as we as we go through this uh, discussion. As we get to the end of the first part of this uh, uh, this morning, we get to the second part, which is your questions and your comments. I would be interested in your sense of uh, the direction that you think Ukraine should be moving. Um, this is a, a university with a well-established international relations institute, um, and your views. Um, are very important to to shaping uh, the rest of the country's views um, on the overall foreign policy direction of Ukraine. And I would like to hear um, your views on that. There are other things that the new government is going to have to do <clears throat> after WTO and after the free trade agreement um, with the European Union. Everybody understands that the new government is going to have to attack corruption. Um, the United States has been helping, other countries have been helping, previous governments have been working, the new government will also have to work very hard <clears throat> to identify and attack uh, corruptive influences in all parts of the, of the society. Um, in the government, in education, um, uh, in the private sector. Uh, this is an important task uh, of this next government. It will be an important task, uh, again, for moving into Europe. The courts. I've mentioned the courts before um, uh, when we were talking about the problems of uh, uh, April and May and June of, uh, of this year. Um, the courts coming under influence, accused of, uh, of, of corruption, accused of being bribed. Um, the court system in Ukraine has a lot of, uh, a lot of reform it, uh, it's going to have to go through. This is going to be important for the people to support and it's going to be important for the government to take strong action. Improving the investment climate. All of the political parties um, during this last election campaign, all of the main political parties uh, during this election, uh, election campaign, um, said that they were going to improve the political climate and the economic climate and the investment climate here in Ukraine so that investors, both Ukrainian investors as well as international investors, would feel comfortable in bringing their money and their investments, uh, and their interest, and their talent to Ukraine. Um, so there's no difference between party regions and Butte and our Ukraine on the need to improve the investment climate. 